Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you how to make an electromagnet with an old AC motor. The motor was like this. This is a complete motor. It is a shaded pole motor and these are very popular in some appliances, home appliances of low power. For example, in fans, you can find this type of motor. It is a shaded pole motor and what I did is to remove the rotor and also I removed these copper wires here and here. These wires are part of the working of the shaded pole motor but we don't need them in order to make our electromagnet. So I just have the core, obviously, iron core, and the coil. Obviously, when you apply a current to the coil, a magnetic field appears and travels through the iron core. So what I will make is to remove part of the iron here, this part, so that we have our two magnetic poles, and also here we need to remove this part because otherwise the magnetic field stays inside the iron and we need the magnetic field to go outside from one pole and enter to the other. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Okay, I used the grinder in order to remove the iron in this part, but we still need to remove this iron from here because the magnetic field moves through the core and passes through this iron which is uh, an easiest way to move than going from here in the air section. However, we should see uh, that this behaves as an electromagnet and let's test it as it is now and later I will remove the iron here and see the difference. As I told you before, this was an AC electric motor, but let's check what is the resistance of the coil to see if we can use DC current. Okay, we have 14 ohms, 15. Okay, so if we use around 12 volts, we should have a draw of around 1 amp. So let's see how it behaves. Okay, let me connect the power supply. At 12 volts, it draws around 900 milliamps, and yes, it works as an electromagnet. It is not very strong, but yes, you need to apply some force to remove the iron. And let me disconnect the current to show you that it stops behaving like a magnet. Now I will remove the remaining iron here to see if we get better performance. Well, after cutting this iron here, the bridge, we have now three pieces of the core because 
this part here just fits like this it is not a single piece so now we need to find a way to reassemble the core I will try to use epoxy glue and then test if we have more magnetic force here okay here it is I used a combination of super glue for the internal faces on the iron also epoxy glue and this plastic fastener so let me correct uh, let me connect the power supply again to see the difference in magnetic force again I apply 12 volts and yes it definitely feels more strong you need more force to remove the iron pieces okay let me use this is the largest piece of iron that I have now and it can lift it without problem I have been using 12 volts for the tests which gives a current of 900 milliamps that seems adequate for this coil however let's make a test at 24 volts of course we have double the current but now the magnetic force is much more strong of course you can't do this for a long time because you may burn the coil okay so there you have it a strong electromagnet using an old electric motor from a fan very easy to do you only need the motor and well the tedious part is to cut the iron in order to obtain the two poles of course you can also use this electromagnet with AC but it is not recommended because the coil is exposed and you may get a shock thanks for visiting my channel i hope you liked this video and see you in the next one